Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Happy birthday to me. Oh dear lord. <laughs> it's my birthday, so I decided to give myself way too much work. It's fine. <laughs> Good evening, or maybe it's not. I can't tell at this rate. And welcome to the thing that it said on the thumbnail and also on the thumbnail. Oh dear. Tonight, we are playing a, a, a particular game. I did not steal it from Tom Scott whatsoever. <laughs> because I'm too stubborn to do call-ins. <laughs> we are gonna have 12 special guests on. Um, good luck guessing all of them. You won't. <laughs> We're gonna have a good time, or else I specifically request that we have a good time. Oh dear, the first game is gonna begin in about three minutes. We have our first block of contestants ready and waiting. I just hope we have a good time tonight because, oh dear lord, I have, I have so many fucking buttons. <laughs> I have so many buttons on my cursed, cursed screen. Oh dear. <laughs> Even now, even now, I'm, I'm frantically typing, being like, wait, do I have this thing ready? I have to unzip this zip. <laughs> I gotta go. If the stream crashes, that's not the right fucking folder. What am I on about? Here we go. Here we go. Oh dear lord, that's not the right folder. Bestie, that's not the right folder. Well, you know what? It's fine. I can just get rid of that part of the stream. <laughs> oh dear. It's not a Rin Penro stream without the absolute breakdown of me as a person. I don't think... I just don't. I just don't. And that's the magic of it all. Um, I will also be doing a stream after this where we actually do birthday things such as speech and not much else, not gonna lie. Um, I will read super chats and listen, I'm gonna miss the entirety of what's going on in chat today and that you're just gonna have to live with it. It's a technical difficulty band. <laughs> Twitch chat, you're on thin fucking ice. <laughs> right then. I think we are about ready. So it is 10 past seven. I'm gonna drink some water real quick. Mmm. Delicious. Soothing my nerves. Not true. <laughs> well then, I think it's about time. Uh, <laughs> on my way, besties! <laughs> I think it's about time we meet our first group of contestants. So then, without further ado, oh, I, I am just gonna wait until four, six, five, for three, two, one. Okay, now it's ten past seven. <laughs> so, allow me to introduce you to our contestants tonight. Here we go. Where's the... Hello! 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 Hello. Hi! Hello! Hi. We're in! We're in! Right then! Oh my oh, god! god. Yeah. Hello! Hello! Oh, wow. Hi! Hello? It's Hi. a pleasure to be here. Oh. What is it? Right. <laughs> Let's do some quick introductions. Right then. Uh, in no particular order, uh, which buttons do I press? Let's find out. <laughs> okay. Okay. Is... I'm going to do an introduction for the game show, and then I'm going to do introductions for you. I wrote you little one-liners. I hope you enjoy them. Wow. Thank you. So then, let's Thank see. You. So, the rules of this game are simple. Each of you has been given a random Wikipedia article. And uh, in a second, I'm going to read the title of one of them. Uh, I don't know whose article it is. It is your job to convince me that it is your article. Playing today, we have uh, Coca-Cola, please sponsor her. It's Isla. No, that's not Isla. That's Isla. It's Isla Yu. She's the patron saint yeah. of the idle Minecraft server. It's uh, Nikki Ray. Hello. And, hey! Uh, I want a bobblehead of her in my car. It's Poco Rakan. The name hey, why did you say that? <laughs> Listen, it'll be brilliant merch. You've just got to understand. Oh god, it's all, I've already messed it up. This is this is, this is brilliant. 
It's okay. I'm known for identity theft as well. It's fine. Damn. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I, I have a feeling she's gonna win. <laughs> Move back. Move back. Anyway. I like you should. You should. Yeah, we should uh, be careful from that one. She's very yeah. sneaky and. Uh, hey. Yeah. Hey. I'm stealing your identities now, apparently. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Right then. So, without further ado, I should have got a. Can I get a drum roll? Because I forgot to put that sound effect on my board. Oh yes. Uh... So, <laughs> wonderful. Nice. No, that's a rim shot. Well. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm going to read the title of one of your articles, and that title is, uh, here we go, should have asked for the drum roll now, don't do it, is, no. I'm going to, I don't even know how to pronounce this, so I'm going to write it down, and I'm going to have you guys pronounce this, actually. Let's see. <laughs> that is, can you, can you all see my screen? Has this, have, have things not gone ho so horribly wrong that you can see what this word is? Why did you work there? Oh yeah, I see it on the I see it on the stream. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna ask you guys to pronounce that. So um without further ado, Poco, what how do I say this word? Voitek. Okay, Nikki, Voitek. how do I say this word? Wastak. And Isla, how do I say this word? Well, um Voitek. <laughs> that instantly made me suspicious of you. <laughs> Instantly, <laughs> <laughs> like I, I don't know if I can trust this girl. Not gonna lie. <laughs> don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. I, I promise you, I'm not a liar. That a lot of liars have told me this statement before. <laughs> <laughs> what, what oh dear. Right then. <laughs> so, Poco. Mm -hmm. What the fuck are we talking about? What is this? What am I looking at? Uh, that is a uh, Russian creature, actually. Oh, dang. It's actually well, a part of a mythological creature from Russia. Yeah. Okay, okay. That... Can you imagine a skinwalker, but from Russia? I'm gonna pretend I remember what one of those is. <laughs> what? You Listen, know one of those scary creatures? I told you, Whoa. I'm very gullible, and part of that is because I know nothing about the world. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's one of those skinwalkers from Russia, at least. They walk around in the woods, and Russians tell tales to the children to not go out at night, especially during winter. And some people presume that it's because there's bears out there and wolves and stuff, so they wanted to protect their kids. Okay, okay. That mm. uh, that that sounds quite plausible. Um, yes. Now Nikki's going to tell me something completely different. Nikki, what is this thing? Okay, listen up, listen up. I'm listening. It's a woodstock. Okay, it's a flavor of ice cream in Poland, okay? Okay. Uh, it's basically, you know, vanilla with chocolate and I don't know for God why they do that, but uh, ra raisins, they put, pa pa they put raisins in it. It's so gross. Uh, so yeah, but it's something like, uh, yeah, the local thing there and... Um, it sounds horrible, but yeah, that, that's what it is. It's a, it's a ice cream flavor. Listen, just you didn't have to do voice like that. Me, I liked it. <laughs> you didn't have to do the ice cream like that, man. Right then, okay. Isla's gonna tell me something completely different. What is? I've compl I've, I've I've forgotten how you pronounced it. I'm sorry. Well, well, well. It's pronounced as Voitek. <laughs> <laughs> and I would never lie. I sound like a grandma right now. See, I don't, um, I don't well, know if you're like, if you actually don't know what you're talking about, or if you're putting it on just to fucking mess with me. <laughs> I've, been, well, 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 I've no. been gaslit before, girly. <laughs> you'll find out. You'll find out. Well, well, well. Voitek, Voitek. You know, it's it's a bear. It's a brown bear. It's a bear. It, it was, yeah, yeah. It's a bear. It's, it's a, a bear. bear. It's a bear. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, well, well, this brown bear. This brown bear traveled all over the world. And he was actually a little soldier. A little soldier. This, this bear, soldier this bear, bear could mess you up pretty good. Yeah, yeah. And um, he, he had he had many friends over the time of his lifetime. Bear and friendship? eventually, <laughs> eventually, he ended up in a zoo in Scotland. Huh. Mm -hmm. Damn. Yeah. He's a little bear. 
little he's guy. just a little bear. He's just a little bear. This little guy. This little friend, you know? See, the thing is... Oh, yeah. The thing is... All of those sound plausible! All of those sound plausible! <laughs> You've all... I mean, the only thing is like... Do I believe Isla is gaslighting me or not? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Are you so good at lying that you've convinced me that you don't know how to lie about things? Or, or, or are you genuinely just clueless? <laughs> <laughs> are we gonna find out? <laughs> good god, are we? So, <laughs> let's see. So, Poco, this... Yeah? This, 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 this quote-unquote Russian skinwalker. Yes. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> What do you mean, damn? Damn! What do you mean, damn? You're gonna have to explain. Damn have to you! <laughs> oh, sorry, it's your birthday. Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Damn. Are you gonna say that you don't believe in the Russian folktale? No, I'm gonna say Russian that I, 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 I don't know the thing that you're referencing, so you're gonna have to tell me what a skinwalker is real quick. And oh, a skinwalker is the type of creature. Um, it will like attack you, and then it will take your body, and then it will sound like you and stuff. And it goes around to different people and takes their life essence. That's kind of like what it's like. Ooh. Isn't Ooh, a skinwalker is from? Uh, it's from the what's his name? The the, the eh? case of Thrones. Thrones, Thrones. I have never watched Game of Thrones. I'm gonna be real. No, with you. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a it's a very popular uh, folk folk myth lore all over the world which makes yeah, me kind of like scared kind of because that feels like identity theft monsters all the time yes <laughs> yes and that makes me kind of scared because that's like a thing all over the world but this is the russian version yes <laughs> what so it like goes harder or something uh well i do not want to be in the russian woods uh in the middle of the winter and you're <laughs> i don't think you you want to be in the russian woods in the middle of the yeah, winter no, in general. Like, <laughs> like the most the most comfortable situation to be in, even in like the best of times. Sure, sure. The kids are stupid, so they need freaking stories. I mean, I needed stories when I was younger. Like my mom would tell me, "There's a monster there," and then I wouldn't go inside of a room. It'll work it works. Damn. I get them. I get them. Good parent in there. <laughs> not that just like kids are idiots. They need to be taught not to go into the middle of the Russian woods. Yes. <laughs> Well, yes. Mm -hmm. They're hardcore like that. See, but <laughs> now I'm just wondering, Poco, were you thinking about an identity theft monster because we made an identity theft joke earlier? No, 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 no. This is actually a part of the Wikipedia article. I mean, you, w you would say that, wouldn't you? I would say that, but it is true. You have to trust my word on this one. Otherwise, you're going to look like an idiot in front of all of these people. Yeah. For so my believing. birthday? You do that to me? You do that to me, Poco? <laughs> no, I'm telling you the truth right now so you can pick the right answer. Have you thought about that? Oh, dang. I feel like I'm being Silent. gaslit, but I feel like that's the point of the show. <laughs> 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 okay, moving on. I'm giving you the right answer! Nikki. Yeah. The fact that you came up with, like, it's a Polish ice cream is so niche that I feel like... That that's a very bold lie, if that's a lie. But it's it's so specific. Never like to. Like, who would come up with it's a Polish ice cream? Like, that alone makes me feel like that's that's what it is. Because who would come up with that? Okay, so let me let let me just say that Jack, Jack in Poland in Polish uh, language means lick, okay, and would is the raisins. That's how it's the raisins. Oh, so this is... You've got, like, the, the full etymology. You've got, like, the full, like, root words and stuff going on. Yeah. Dang! See, if, yeah, yeah. I'm a fan of... I'm a fan of linguistics, not gonna lie. And I'm Me feeling... Too. I'm feeling completely caught out by this because I know nothing about the Polish language. <laughs> <laughs> so I... This could be, like, a really elaborate lie. And now I'm wondering where on the Wikipedia page would it have said this? Or is this just knowledge you already have? Uh, yeah. For, we, like, in my country, there are lots of, uh, you know, Polish people, so... Huh. Yeah. I wasn't, I wasn't aware. Okay, then. <laughs> and then, 
Okay, moving on to, to Isla. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Win, win, win. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know? Did you know that Wojtek hmm? was Polish? Polish. But the plot twist! The plot twist! <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Did you also know that this bear was such good friends with the other soldier that he would he would walk alongside them on his hind legs? Oh, he also on, drank on his, beer. On his, on his hind legs. Too. Yeah, he smoked too and he drank beer because he saw them do it. He wanted to join the friend group, you know. And, and, uh, and they and they let the bear smoke and they let the bear drink. And this... Yeah. Once again, if this is a lie, this is a bald-faced lie. And I kind of have to respect you for it, even if it... Thank you. Because <laughs> goddamn, who's coming up with this shit? <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear God. These are all convincing, is the problem. These are all convincing oh dear god oh and no, i'm gonna need like a second to think about this <laughs> does does anyone listen have to any... your heart god knows i'm trying does anyone have any of any bonus details they want to add in to like sway me over with this one mm. oh happy birthday <laughs> Do none of you remember any more details? How can you say they no? They were short. To a bear? The article was so short. Yeah, like I, I don't think uh, there is much to add about ice cream. So I pretty this much said uh, everything. Friends. This bear can be friends with the blahad. <laughs> <laughs> Pick the bear. Pick the bear. If if blow high and. Wojtek were fighting each other. I think Blow High would win. Oh, so true, Bessie. So true, Bessie. Yeah, I think it will win. Yeah. If, if you ever go around to, uh, to Poland with, uh, you know, with the Blahash, don't feed them this ice cream. It's horrible. <laughs> Just all relating it to Blahash. I mean, okay, listen. I can say Blow High because I'm a Swedish native. Okay, no, yeah, that no, should you, give me extra you points. Know that it's Blow High. Yeah, it's blue high. A point for Poco. There are no points in this game, but I'm counting it anyway. Thank you. Well, That's well, Rin, Rin, Rin. Is this from Sweden? Sweden is <laughs> Also, I live in Sweden. I live in Sweden. I literally know everything about just Europe. You're living in Sweden. Is this what you want? Yes. Yes. Oh. Oh. Wait, wait. This is unfair. Unfair yeah. advantage. Yeah. That's that's that, that, yeah. I, Rin, I can take you to Ikea. Swedish Ikea. I can take you to Ikea, the for real, for real version. Never Ikea. trust no, an anime you. girl with a big head. Hey! <laughs> Look, I'll take my hood off. My head is not that big. There's... Poco, with all due respect, there's a reason I want a bobble head of you in my car. <laughs> I just wanna... I, I just... I just wanna go... I, I just... I just wanna see it go... It would just... I can't believe it. I think... I think that's a strong merchandise idea, if you'd ever like to jump on this. <laughs> I can't mm. believe it. <laughs> I, I won't allow this slander. It's not slander if it's true. So, okay. Oh. Right. I'm yeah. gonna try guessing here. Pick the bear. <laughs> <laughs> what is this subliminal messaging? <laughs> Oi! Okay. You, go, you don't get to do this. You don't get to do this. There's a lot of folklore out you're, there. You're gonna want to pick the bear. I promise. So, hmm. I'm thinking. <laughs> I'm thinking. Right. It's gonna take a while. <laughs> Don't do this to me. <laughs> Don't. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm in bed. So, oh, Poco, I feel like that was. Hmm. I feel <laughs> like you've got something that would. This is gonna sound rude, but um, it's my birthday, so my rules. I feel like you made that up because that's that's. I, I, it feels like that wasn't like too much of a reach for you. Is the excuse thing. me? <laughs> I know you live too in much Sweden, of a reach. I was thinking of the identity theft. It's it all just comes back down to identity theft. 
folklore is no joke, Rin Penrose. Millions You're gonna offend a lot of people. Oh. <laughs> Millions of people lose in this game, and I'm not one of them. <laughs> well, the identity Believe me, game Rin Penrose, or... you're making a mistake. And with that, I'm ruling out Poco because this just. Hey! <laughs> I feel like I'm being manipulated here, which of course I am. But like, <laughs> that's the thing. No. Oi, oi, oi. So, Isla. The yeah. detail about the bear drinking and smoking is a touch too far for me. If that's real, I'm I'm scared for the state of society. Oh, it better. <laughs> and also we're, just with the way that you're kind watching. of like, yeah, no, I totally know what it is. Oh, wink, <laughs> wink. <laughs> it just makes me think like, does she know? And I'm not entirely yeah. convinced that she know. So, with that, I'm gonna make the very wild guess. Nikki, <laughs> was it you? <laughs> Do I need to answer? Yeah, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I am real? No. Was it your article, Wiki? Wiki? Nikki, Jesus Christ. Nikipedia. Uh, no, it was a, it. What? I, I lied. I lied my ass off. Yeah, there. she did. Yeah, she did. Yeah. Yeah. I told you. What the? Fu okay. <laughs> my God. Okay, so so it's either it's either the Russian skinwalkers in the middle of the woods, or it's a bear with alcohol problems. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, the bear. What the? Fu <laughs> <laughs> this the entire time. I would never lie to you. This entire game show is about lying to me. You signed up. <laughs> I sent you the concept document. The game is called Two of These People Are Lying. I'm sorry if I don't believe you. I'm the third one. <laughs> well, I would never lie to you. I could... And I can say that with full confidence. Poco, you have several criminal convictions. Sure, sorry. but I didn't lie about them. I went to jail for them. I served my time. So like tax fraud wasn't one of them because that's pretty that's pretty in vogue these days. I actually pay my taxes. Unfortunately, I still want to stay in this darn company. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe tax fraud next year. Maybe next year. Maybe we'll see. It's on the it's on the planner. <laughs> You've got a pencil then. Yes, with my with my uh, blue ink, actually <laughs> makes it more official. It's on brand. Oh dear. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, this is You're disrespecting the bear. <laughs> <laughs> You're really attached to this bear who may or may not exist. The bear is a war hero. <laughs> <laughs> the bear's an alcoholic. And maybe fiction. I'm a war hero! <laughs> you really love this bear, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. I read up on this bear and I fell in love. He's, he's a good little lad. Mm, he's a little guy, okay. Ren. He's a little guy. Oh, oh look, she's using bit. emotions to manipulate you. Oh wow. She's gonna no start crying on stage. That today, this week, this month, this year. <laughs> yeah. I I feel like the bear walking on his hind legs and smoking and drinking is a touch too far. Nikki, what do you mean? What do you mean, Pog? You. <laughs> 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 I guess you technically won, but like, at what cost, right? <laughs> yeah! There is no shitty that... ice cream for us to eat. <laughs> oh Wait. dear. That's no raisins. <laughs> no, re no raisins, we're gonna be okay. I feel like the bear walking on its hind legs is a... is a... Poco, Poco what is that? Um, actually... According to my Wikipedia article, Poco, I am are correct. You, Poco, are you, are you being a PNG right now? She's nerding Maybe. it up! She's trying to sound smart! She's trying to sound smart! Oh god, in that case... No, yeah, I... Poco, my favorite PNG, is it you? Are you telling... It was it your article? Oh, I'm lying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I'm, I'm lying. I can't even. I can't even. Do it. it was Hyla. <laughs> the entire time. What the? I 
Isla, you, Isla, you gotta tell me a little bit about this fucking bear, Jesus Christ. I did! Oh, she did, that's the problem. Well, this bear is called Wojtek. He was a Syrian brown bear. And he was taken in by the Pol Polish uh, corp soldiers. So Nikki and, wasn't uh, actually that far off with like Polish, huh? Mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. And oh, uh, he, he, yeah, he, 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 he was a soldier. Um, he, he followed the soldiers around, and uh, he liked to copy them. So he did, in fact, drink beer and smoked and marched alongside them. Uh, he also slept with them. They were cold, and he liked wrestling with them too. He, he also knows how to salute. That's convenient. Uh, yeah, he became the mascot of of um. Yeah. Oh my god, she did an essay on it. Yeah. Wow. You're fast. It's a bear. It's a bear. I'm not gonna lie, I freaked out because... Should we say what our articles was? You Mine was about a cat. Mine was about a cat that was unsinkable. Like every yes. time a ship would sink, the cat would survive. Why is this cat oh, on so many boats? boats? <laughs> I don't know, but he retired later. <laughs> then he died. <laughs> Damn. Oh my god, and I, I had the perfect life for this article of about the cat. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, and it's, it's British related, so you what would... That? Yeah, well, the cat was British, uh -huh. actually, yes. Oh, uh, you want to know the, the lie? The lie is like, uh, you know the show, the kids show Fireman Sam, right? It's made no. in UK yeah. made. Yeah? Okay, so I was gonna lie about it, that... Uh, it's the most uh, episode, uh, most viewed episode in, on YouTube, and oh, like uh, that would be no article no, probably. Yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a, Nor Norman Pra, no Norman Price. That you know the the stupid kid that always uh, the paramania kid that no one put to jail that one somehow. Was me. That one was me. Yeah, I'm gonna be real. It's been a while since I watched Five Man San. Uh, translation: yeah. uh, a lifetime. <laughs> yeah, so 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 it was like the biggest episode ever, and the thing is that like uh, Sam special. was, uh, yeah, he, he was uh, Norman lit him lit uh, Fireman Sam on fire, and he couldn't sink himself to say that actually sounds horrible because he's a fireman. You're making yeah, a I... very sad story about a very unfortunate cat right now, Nikki. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> Colorful imaginations. Well, that's what I'll say. <laughs> yes, yeah, right sure. Then. And with that, oh boy. Con okay, congratulations to uh, Nikki for successfully yeah. making me look like an absolute moron. I love that. <laughs> kind of where, no. where are the claps? Not my first time, girl. Not my first time. <laughs> there we Gaslight go. Just like Gatekeep Girl Boss Nikki Ray 2024. Yikes. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Banger. And with that, thank you for coming out today, ladies. Uh, does anyone have anything they want to say before I scram? Uh, happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Uh, yeah. Happy birthday. I hope you have a nice birthday. Much. Oh god, yeah, I, I have a nice fun. birthday. Sweats. <laughs> Okay, yeah. good luck with the rest of the participants. Yeah, you, you were better. with the best group you today. You better. <laughs> win. You can win. And, I can, and I'm I can... sorry, Poland. <laughs> I'm sorry, <laughs> Poland. Your stream is probably fine right then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Just everyone... put, don't put raisins. <laughs> everyone, we're going to go to break now. Uh, I will see you in five minutes for the next round. Um, where maybe I will look a little bit smarter. But I wouldn't believe that. Whee! Here we go.
Okay, and we're back. And um, no tech issues happened whatsoever. Don't talk to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. So joining us for the second round, no one can see you yet. So you're just mysterious voices. <laughs> oh, thanks. <laughs> joining us this round, we have, uh, he communicates exclusively in cat PNGs. It's Machinax Fly On. I love cats, they're funny. Hi, I'm Machina X Fleon. I'm a mecha pilot, but today I'm wearing a nice winter outfit. I like cats, and I like psychoanalyzing people. Thank I'm you. not in danger whatsoever. Uh, and the guy I sent all my Pikmin memes to, it's Junakane. Yippee! Yippee! Pikmin! Yippee! I literally look like a red Pikmin. It's actually crazy. Um, <laughs> hi, guys. My name is Junakane. Uh, I'm uh, a pirate. I just kind of like took all of my accessories off for the sake of clarity. But hi, everybody. It's a casual, it's a casual Sunday. It's fine. And uh, and he, he, he did not forsake his flesh to be here, so we're going to be OK. Uh, it's Daniel RT game. Hi, Woo! I'm a real human. And this is going to look very jarring and scare some of you. But it's me in the flesh. my VTuber rig. I couldn't get working today. So it's me. <laughs> you can trust me. <laughs> Dude, your oh, model looks no. amazing. That's a that's awesome. Yeah, your rigging yeah, is insane. Yeah, thank you, thank you. We pulled all the stops on this uh this this rig, you know. <laughs> working <laughs> teeth, working teeth. It makes a huge difference. Damn, not a, not a lot of us have working jaws. Let me tell you that for free. Oh boy. Oh, trust me. <laughs> so, uh, just in case uh, we have people uh -huh. joining us right now. Um, the rules of this game are simple. Each of you have been given a random Wikipedia article, and in a second I'm going to read the title of one of them. I don't know whose article it is, and it is your job to convince me that it is yours. So, the word of the mm -hmm. day is... Funestrada. And my manager sent that to me in all caps, so I don't know if that's just him being extra or... But it's fine. <laughs> so, I'm going to ask it's you one in a row. funny. What is that? <laughs> Fly on, no! <laughs> or is he gaslighting me? I don't know. I don't so, know with any of you. <laughs> what is that? I don't know. Okay, so fun Estrad. I mean, can can I? Can, do we just start? Like, does someone take the floor first, or? Uh, you know what? Since do you've we, gone it, first, why not? Why not, Daniel? Arty okay, game? all right. So I'm gonna blow your mind because fun Estrada, that's a shorthand word, uh, for something else that is historically the longest word in. The English language, or just in language oh, in general. Of course he'd know this. Of course he'd know this. Yeah, no, uh, we actually studied this like back in college. Um, <laughs> it is so unbelievably long. It, 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 we did. We he did. did some other things in uh, college while he was drifting. It's true. You know, like it can only be going around the track and like doing one eighties around like the campus grounds, like so many days. But this is a shorthand word for the actual longest word just ever documented in language. And I will attempt to pronounce it in just a moment. Oh dear. Um, what it actually means, it, it comes from a uh, Greek comedy uh, from Aristophanes. Well, I, I pronounced it right. Uh, Aris, Aris, Aristophanes. That's it. Thank you. Mm. Aristophanes. Okay. Uh, it's an ancient comedy. And it basically just translates as this like very kind of silly kind of food dish where there's like a shitload of different stuff in it. But the actual word that this is the shorthand for, and it's because it's kind of just a fun word and it's kind of been translated this way. Uh, Lopadot, machos, uh, lachogale, uh, craniol, mm. uh, isfan, dreamy, protrami, uh, mato, sifo, arbomkilito, asek, chime, noki, claire, picosi, uh, fo, fato, peristara, try on to kefalio, uh, kig, clop, Lelio, Lagio, uh, Serayo, Buffet, uh, Trigon, Octri, Terrigon. Did we just get cursed? <laughs> Probably. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, our, 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 our professor, like, no joke, when we were learning this, like, said, we, I will give you a fiver if you pronounce it correctly. <laughs> no one could. Um, <laughs> it's a mouthful, but that's why we have a shorthand word for this because. You cannot be writing this every day. It is it is it is simply too long. I mean the word. You're gonna get carpal tunnel. With your Honestly, mouth. Like my mouth hurts even trying to attempt that. <laughs> well, that's a good tongue twister, question break. Okay. That was that was just the short explanation. Oh god. Let's Ironically. go backwards. Jen, what the, what on earth is funny strata when it's at home? <sighs> 
I think <laughs> that Funestrada. I think that Funestrada is a made-up word. <laughs> I I think it's not real. I think it's not real. But if I had to guess, if I had to guess, and like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. You're supposed to be convincing. I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I didn't Okay, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so. Let him cook. I don't know what the fuck this word is, but let me just try to wing it, you know? Get yeah. Mm. All right, so, so Funestrada is a fake word, right? It's a, That's why it's like funny strata, right? It's a fake word. And the idea behind it is that this fake word was used to replace uh, like fake answers in like a, a poll for foods to see what foods were like the best. So it's like a uh, fake food. Nah, dude. <laughs> I, I, I mean, it's not. I, stuff. I don't know if I believe that. I, I mean, don't know if I believe that as well. You're my, stealing my notes because I talked about food first and now you're just picking up on that. I'm, well, okay. I mean, he has no comeback. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you can't just like nick half my concept here. And, no, like, no, no, no. It, 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 it's like it's like food, you know. It's like it's like okay, you no, know, you, you have a bunch a of. Word. You said it was a made-up word. word. No, it was, it was a made-up word. I think they're wrong. Fake made-up word. The fake made-up word that's like used as like a fake food. It's like you know, let's say let's say you have a poll and it's like like a bunch of terrible foods on it. You've got like green mm. beans and you've got I mean green beans are okay. You've got broccoli derogatory. Uh, you've got like Brussels sprouts and then you have fun estrada there. And like people are going to look at that and they're going to be like that sounds better than all the other answers. And so they're going to pick that one. I, who's going to like the restaurant and it's like you know just give me the mystery dish when they look at the menu. It's like what would you like to order sir? Oh, it's like, the guy from Ratatouille. <laughs> the guy from Ratatouille. True, true. The critic I mean, from Ratatouille. <laughs> okay all right well come on that's now that's that's not a fair example. Give me the best the rats dish you not have real. to rats offer. Rats don't exist. France is real. How do you know? How you do know, you know like, rats don't exist? Have you been? Remy exists. Have you seen a rat? Yeah, I saw Remy. He no, beat you up haven't. Stuart Little. No, you haven't. You, you can't. Haven't. You're incorrect. You saw. You're invalidating him. <laughs> he saw is real. <laughs> he is real. <laughs> who do you think? Who do you think the model right now? It's just a movie. You have to let go. It's not real. It's Remy the rat controlling the model. You think? You think that's a person? No, that's pulling the hairs. I haven't even got face on so yet. You want my answer? This is that. That is how the format works. Uh, Okay. Please tell me what funny strata is before I fucking lose it. Oh, okay. Rin. Go on. I'm lying to you. Oh, for fuck's Anyways. So, Funestrada actually has a darker concept. You know about... You're British, right? Oh, no? Well, there was a rise in cannibalism around the 17th and 19th oh, century. Oh, God. <laughs> and it does actually have something to do with food, but we'd call it forbidden food. So, Funestrada... How do we say... It has to deal, it's a healthy human flesh alternative to food, to counteract that. Sorry, this is like the plant food of human flesh is what you're claiming. <laughs> yes, it was made so people could quit being cannibals. Oh, at first they tried to imprison everyone, but with that rise in cannibalism, just a little nice hungry human tang, you know, you know the meme. You're just with your friend in the mountains, and then you both get stranded and you just have a... <laughs> little bite you turn it into a wendigo it's all great but why are we friends i guess you could call it a nice convenience food that's what funestrata is it's very good you don't need to eat anyone else you don't need to argue with your family it's a nice healthy alternative for human flesh you believe it so far if as i told you i'm lying to you like I i'll be honest they didn't have even like fucking vegan options in ireland till like 10 years ago and you're telling me there's like oh, a yeah. uh, menu for <laughs> no, cannibals right. back no, in the right. day. Vegan? You know? That's exactly what it is. It's a tofu. Like, we, can't, we can't even get oh. veggie dietary options. And you're telling me we've got like, the cannibal menu sources. <laughs> I mean, how, how can I say this? Truth is stranger than fiction. That is true. Uh, that's that is just true. fiction. No, sometimes it's just a lie. <laughs> What's that? You're going to say I'm not real? Huh? I'm the only actual human being here. He's got a point. First Remy, now He's me. God. We don't oh, exist. Dear. You trust a human? We don't exist. 
I'm actually real. Like, I'm going to leave my desk at some point and continue existing on this mortal realm. He is the You're real? All right, who's the CEO of Funestrata? There's no CEO of Funestrata. Mark Knuckles is the CEO. Who is that? Mark Knuckles. Wait, this is the CEO of What does Mark Knuckles do? Wait, no, the CEO of Funestrata no Inc. CEO. Or should I call it LLC? This group might have LLC. One hundred percent serious. No, I kind of, I kind of believe. I kind of believe like the human flesh thing. I'm like, Jen, like, Jen, we don't. Oh, you're not lying. I mean, I'm just. Cannibals are. What I mean, the fucked up McDonald's are you going to? Like, it's not a thing. I mean. You know, there, there, there are these these situations. You know, people get in plane crashes, and like, mm -hmm. you know, Those... it's like snowy, and nobody can come rescue them. Yeah, and then, they don't like, go to the McDonald's in the snowy mountains and like the Alps. You know, like that's not mm -hmm. a thing. They can't McDonald's go down to that everywhere. Diner. I can finish it for McDonald's you. Then this everywhere. will decide McDonald's everything. Yeah. Due to the nature of cannibalism with Funestrada, they had a website. It was closed in mid two thousand six. The CEO said, well, the world has moved on past it, and it's hard convincing people. I'm still convinced this is a made-up word. Well, yeah. it's definitely hard convincing people, as we can clearly <laughs> see on display tonight. Jun! Jun! Uh -huh. Jun Akane! I've... Jun Akane! Yeah. Hi. I feel like maybe you misunderstood the assignment somewhat. <laughs> He's trolling. He knows the assignment. Wait, no, yeah! What if you are gaslighting me? This is what happened last round! I... I, I have <laughs> historical basis for what this actually is. We actually oh, yeah, had a terrifying. contest for this back in college. What the f I think RT's telling the truth. You're all out here to gaslight me, huh? Wow, some friends you are, question mark? <laughs> I think Rin's telling the truth. <laughs> the contrast rate, rate and the confusion is quite genuine here. Yes. But like yes. we actually attempted this. Um and it's like it, mm -hmm. it is a ludicrously long word. And it's just stuck in at one point basically. And it's like even the print on the page for this is fucking ridiculous because you can't fit it in one line. So it's just like, what's that paragraph of text? It's like, oh god. <laughs> and like it, it is actual nightmare scenario. Like someone just wanted to print an extra page. To like make it cost effective, so it's like fuck it, I'll improvise this word, and you know, and then thousands of years later, here's your Guinness World Record, you know, for this stupid word. But the thing is, now that you've brought up mm -hmm. Guinness World Record, see, I was inclined to believe you, Dan, because I am aware, some for some reason, I'm aware of the fact that you went to college. But like, mm -hmm. I know you're an English major. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, just disclaimer: I don't actually know if it's a Guinness World Record because Guinness World Records is like a weird paid-for thing. But it is oh, yeah, actually the longest is, word. Guinness every year. World That's Records true. is an entirely different Wikipedia article. Jesus yeah. Christ! But like, so like, I know you would know about these things. But then, does that mean that you have the knowledge to lie skillfully? Because like, no, we're like, no, because like, I'm not gonna take advantage of you, right? Like, we learn cool shit and trivia like this. That's why you go to college, you know, is to, like, spout this information. No, it's I spent four years, oh, not because I spent of social four years pressure. studying poems, and now it's a party trick I have on stream pressure. sometimes, you know? That's what you do. That's education. That's the you know, only also, reason to go to college, just so for the YouTube streaming, it's fine. Free oh. debt. <laughs> free debt. So true. Fun one no, for your college fine. essays if you ever have to study this. Uh, you can actually put this in your paper if you're talking about it as a topic, and it will full on take up a page of your essay. That's and just it's great. How you stole the time. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. See, I get the idea that you've done this before now. I get the idea that you figured this out and you went, I'm so fucking smart. <laughs> he went to I college. Pretty smart. He's pretty smart. But like we we did study this, you know, and like this is this is the shorthand word just so you don't die every time you have to cite this thing. You know, you you need those. It, ah, so it's an anagram. No, it's not an anagram. No, I think, oh. I think for an anagram, I think it'd be pretty long winded, <laughs> to be honest. I still think this is a fake word. Do you know Samantha B of The Daily Show? I feel like this is something the government made up. I'm not even gonna lie. She actually interviewed the CEO of Funestrada. And that's where it was popularized. See, this, or brought into like, media. your story is fucking I... ridiculous, but it's got 
It's just enough details that I think maybe this has... If this is not a bold-faced lie, then this is absolutely based on something else. But it's a bold I told you I'm lying to you. Lie. It's a bold face. Yeah, like, like, he literally started it by saying he's lying to you. That's the worst part. No, but the thing about... You, you can... You just do that. You just do that, Flay on it. <laughs> you just do that for fun. <laughs> You think I would go on the internet and lie to people? Who would do that? That's so mean. You, bitch! God forbid. <laughs> oh. Hey, come out! It's your I'm fucking serious, birthday, son. but you gotta be nice to your guests, right? Uh, real, I'm on Have you heard his nice, voice? Right? I don't think either of the people next to me would lie, ever. Don't be I mean, mean, I, I, I'm really. pretty sure both of them are lying, but... <laughs> In my qualified opinion, or is it? Or is it? Because we have Dan, who has like knowledge in the field potentially. We've got Flayon, who's like a professional fucking gaslighter, and we've got Jen. <laughs> <laughs> he's talking about unless he absolutely does. I think it's on? June. What the? F where am I? You got. You got to trust education. You got to trust college. It's you know, we learn trust this those two hundred dollar textbooks. When I went to pirate school, I had to write a, a paper on a on a like a society that I did I wasn't a part of. Like society like like a, like a, like a, like a group oh, like a group specific to, to now. show to show the difference in our in our uh, in our education. Yeah, I wrote my paper on on uh, on furries and like like the cultural identity of furries and stuff. I Let's mean, it was yeah. really interesting, but like I did not find out what Funestrata was and like the longest word. I mean, so that's you are you are not qualified to talk about this. I mean, I never said I wasn't qualified. I mean, I think maybe you just did. I still think it's a made up word. I don't know. Rin. You don't know. You're supposed to know. That's he the knows. point of this. You're supposed to say with confidence. Oh, yes, I, I, okay, know I know. This. I know for a fact right, Rin, that this Rin. word was made Rin, up by the government. Admit it. They don't know what this is. They both already no, said they don't know. I know what this you're is. Lying to me, and one of you have said that you don't know. They're what you're literally about. telling you they don't know what it is. They're literally being honest with you and telling you they don't know. If you're being Archie, honest, who coined the term? Who coined the term? It was like a Greek playwright oh. way fucking back in the day. It was Aristophanes. Well, I have an exact name, Milia Jovovic. They coined the term. That, that that's great. Um, but like, like, After I mean, taking a Euro Star train from London to Paris, of like, sorry, they took a Euro Star Euro Star train from London to Paris. Did you just? And they heard about the products development. Euro Star. I don't think it was. Udo. I don't think it was one person. I think that that the United States Army coined this term. I don't believe you. I don't I, believe you. Jin, I love you. Yes. I do not believe you. I do not believe your ass. <sighs> I would believe Jin. Flayon, I can't trust you no matter what the situation is. Ow, 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 I don't ow, believe you. Ow, I believe, ow, I believe trip, trip. Flayon believes in me. So I believe in me. <laughs> yes. Oh, good God, what is going... I feel like it's got to be Dan. Because the you you immediately I asked for a short explanation and you immediately gave like a three paragraph like essay on what this thing is <laughs> and you you will I have to assume you okay. still have the Wikipedia article up because I could see you reading the fucking thing like yeah I I kept that up just just to actually pronounce the word correctly just to actually oh wow dedicated it, because it is so fucking hard to say. And that wow. gives me reason to believe that you... Oh, I feel like if it's not... D Dan, if it's not you, then I don't know what I'm going to do with myself. So, Rin, it's a made-up word. You have to have faith. Another mistake. You have to made. have trust. Listen, coming from anyone in this room, I'm like, well, it, do mm -hmm. I? Do I really? <laughs> you, ha you have to have faith. Dan. Trust in us. Dan. Was it you? Is it your, is it your article? Uh, do we actually say? Yes. Tell me. I need to know for my own sake. Oh, I'm full of shit. What the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> 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 I told God. you. Yes. <laughs> what the? You yeah, there's there's no shorthand form for that word. No, no one no one writes about it. It's just like a silly bit of trivia. Well, now you've said it, and I'm like, but why don't they have a short a shorthand then? Because I just 
Does ah! the, the shorthand got eight off. Yes. It was cannibalized. would never have a shorthand version. Ever. Oh, no. Oh, no. Good God. Like, what were you fucking reading there, then? Uh, that, it's, it's, the actual, it's an actual word. Like, I was honest with what that word is. I just lied and said Funestrata is the shorthand word of saying it. I was wondering. It. I was wondering which part of that. This is an actual thing. Which yeah. part of that is shortened to Funestrata? And then None I was like, it. wait, that word was really oh, long and I probably forgot. So, like. <laughs> <laughs> I can't trust anyone. I can't trust anyone. Thank you for those in... points, Rin. Rin, you, you can trust me. I sincerely appreciate it. You can trust me with your points, Rin. You can't trust me. <laughs> Oh dear. I have been the most honest person in this room. I hate that the fact that there's a one in two chance that that is actually true. I despise that. I can't let you have this. That being said, with all due respect, Jun, once again, I do not believe a word that came out of your mouth this round. <laughs> <laughs> you can't be mean to me, he's a little guy. I'm just a little guy, man. I would, I would never lie to you. <laughs> I've heard that before. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. I've heard that before. So. <laughs> oh, no. Play on. Mm -hmm. Is, is Funestrada actually a substitute for human cannibalism? No, that's Hufu. Oh, that's a real thing? Yeah, it's a oh, real it's thing. A real... It's a joke product, though. What? So, so, so it was, so it was. Wait, that was. Yeah, I told you I was lying to you. Wow. I oh, didn't that's lie. twice in a row now. That's, um... So twice in a row, <laughs> I've been caught off by people pretending <laughs> to not know what the... There's no point! There's no point in you doing this! There's no <laughs> point in, like, fooling me when you have the right answer! Oh. What? I Saturday. warned you! What the... I said... It, it, you know, it's a fake word. <laughs> I believe June. I still don't believe him, He's a but pirate. he got the answer right. <laughs> Shall I read the Wikipedia article? It's very well, short. We have a second. Go ahead, go ahead. Speed read it. Okay. Okay. Funestrata is a fictitious food item. The term was inserted in a U.S. Army survey of soldiers circa 1974 regarding their food preferences. Funestrata, along with a fake vegetable dish called buttered ermel and a fake meat dish called braised trach, were inserted to provide an estimate of how someone will respond to a word which sounds like a food name or will answer without reading. Uh, Funestrata scored higher in popularity than eggplant, lima beans, and cranberry juice. And all three fake items, however, had the highest percentage of never tried responses. Speak your truth, King. I it's hate... a fake word. Oh, oh. Sure. Why not? You know what? You have a good meal some fun Estrada after this, you know? It'll be grand. Yeah. Oh, It'll help yeah. you feel better. God. And on Miss that note. Some rice on the side. Oh, God. And on that note, that's. Oh, dear. It's, I'm, I'm never emotionally recovering from this. Thank you all for coming. I do appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday. <laughs> yes, happy, happy birthday. birthday! Happy birthday to you! Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Gullible Rin! Very, very Gullible Rin! It's getting slower! Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you! <laughs> Thanks, I... All right, we can fuck off now. <laughs> yeah, I can scram! Get out of here! Fine! Get out of here, you stupid dog! <laughs> and with that, we are going to take a five-minute... Fun Estrada, Jesus Christ. We're going to take a five-minute break. I will see you all for round three. Cannibalism. Well, you just said... Oh, God. He's, he's fucking gone! He's fucking gone!
And oh, that wasn't. No, wait, right I'm transition. not ready. No. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Round the, the the three new disembodied voices that I've got this time. Ooh. Oh boy, oh boy. Ooh, so, my ghost. Uh, fellas, right. if your girl is a CEO and runs game shows, uh, that's not me. It's uh, Obake Palm. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> hey! And oh, the... I am Pam. Oh god. <laughs> no, that's it. <laughs> oh, she, she she really she really do be Pam sometimes. She really do be Pam. <laughs> And uh, the ultimate universe version of me, where I'm cool and well dressed, it's Cake Jumper. Hey, hey, hello, I'm Cake Jumper. I'm going uns, 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 uns. Uh, that's, that's, that's all I got for you. Holy shit, she's nice. she's she's going uns, uns, uns. It might be over for uns, us, gamers. Uns, 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 uns. That's it. It's all over. Uns, uns. It's all over. <laughs> and she's the reason my mom keeps asking if she can get her own VTuber model. It's Rainy. What's up? We've had this discussion before. <laughs> We've. <laughs> Rainy's mother has a VTuber model, and since my mom learned this fact, she's like, so when do I get mine? And it's it's a nightmare. <laughs> I think, I, honestly, why stop at 2D? Get your mom a 3D model in a full mocap suit. Yeah. Don't, encourage yeah. her. Don't encourage her. Jin, if you're encourage watching her. this, uh, if you're watching this, uh, if you need like help setting up your 3D, hit me up, bestie. I've got you. Why would you like, encourage I'll... this? <laughs> why would you do this? It. No! Yes! <laughs> no, but hear me out. If we get my mama 3D model and your mama 3D model, then we could have what? Well, then that's too many mothers. A 3D <laughs> mom. <laughs> no, that's perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. Right, okay, okay. So, uh, for those of you just joining us, uh, the rules of the game are simple. Each of the contestants has been given a random Wikipedia article, and in a second, I'm going to read the title of one of them. I don't know whose article it is. And it is these guys' job to convince me that it is theirs. The article that we are going to be potentially learning about today is I still don't have a drum roll. I still Oh I still don't have a Wonderful. Thank you. Is <laughs> The Conqueror. Ooh. What does this mean? I don't Okay, so let's. Well, that's what they called me in college. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay, so starting from the. I had to chuck my hands there. The left. Pam, mm -hmm. what the fuck is the Conqueror yeah. when it's at home? Okay, okay, okay. So the Conqueror is actually not quite as badass as it sounds at first because the Conqueror is not like some big delusional boss. It is Santa Claus. But hear me out. I will explain how and why Santa Claus. It's Santa Claus! He came to be known as the Conqueror. I will explain. It's a movie. It's actually one of the worst movies of all time. Like consistently rated in like the bottom 100 on IMDb. Wait, what so many you would know worst about movie bad movies? movies. <laughs> I do. I love bad movies. I'm so excited to explain it. Okay, hear me out. <laughs> this, this is a movie where like all the kids on Mars have been really sad and disappointed with society because they grew up and they have to work right away. Like there's no fun allowed type shit, right? So all the Martians decide they need someone like Santa Claus to make the kids happy again so they don't just constantly like not want to grow up and be miserable and so the martians don't know how to find santa right because like you know there's so many fake santas running around around christmas so they're like how do we find the real one what is going on so they kidnap two children just two human children they just bring them to mars straight up and they rely on these children to find the real santa for them when they do find santa they just kind of like abduct him as well because you know you have to and then they start making a bunch of toys for the martians and it goes kind of well but then Santa starts feeling a bit too powerful. It all gets to his head, right? <laughs> so this is when it becomes more of a horror movie in a way. Santa starts modifying the toys into like super dangerous brainwashing devices and starts literally taking over and conquering Mars via the children because of his toys brainwashing them all. However, one of the Martians who's assisting, Dropo, sees through his plan and starts pretending to be Santa and dressing as him and all this stuff. And they set up an elaborate plan just when all hope seems to be lost and they catch Santa in the act and Dropo becomes the new Santa on Mars. We think it's saved. We think. But it was too late. It was too late. <laughs> the kids have been watched forever. <laughs> <laughs> they decide to get rid of Dropo because they already have been brainwashed into believing in only the real Santa. So they just like literally get rid of him. And then the 
the plan to take over one. Santa is now the conqueror of Mars and high on his power, he decides to go and take over the Earth as well. He became very corrupted. That's the movie. That's why it's so bad. <laughs> Oh my god. Thanks for the short explanation, <laughs> Pam. <laughs> no, I had to give you the full story. Oh, I... <laughs> it's too good. I, I couldn't think... leave it out. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody knows what happened and give anyone else a chance there. <laughs> no, yes, yes. Wait, how long was that supposed to be, shoot? I thought I had to go for a while. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> it's fine. I'm sorry. I feel like I watched the movie. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <I'm sorry>. no. <laughs> Next time, shut me up if I do that. No, I, ju I just, I just, I just the five stages of grief in like three minutes. That was one. Thank you. It <laughs> was a roller coaster. Holy shit! <laughs> oh dear. And on that note, Cake Jumper, what is Hi. the Conqueror? <laughs> All right. So, right. Okay. <clears throat> Picture the scene. Right. It's the 50s, right? You're making films of the 50s. What do you make a film of, all right? You make a film called The Conqueror about Genghis Khan, all right? Now, now stay with me. Stay with me. Now, Genghis Khan, we know where he was from, roughly. We know, you know, what he got up to. Who do you cast as Genghis Khan? You cast John Wayne as Genghis Khan. Now, I'll let this sink in for a minute. Why do you think this is a bad idea? There's lots of reasons this is a bad idea, okay? Now, think about it, all right? Think about it. So, John Wayne as Genghis Khan, it is give not oh, jesus it's given awards by a fan base more or less for being the worst cast film ever like why would you make john wayne be genghis khan i mean have you ever seen an artistic depiction of genghis khan if you ever seen genghis khan and john wayne in the same room you need to wake up because you were in a nightmare but <laughs> They are not, like, they are nothing alike, okay? They, there is no similarity whatsoever, all right? So, no, listen, listen, it doesn't end there. So, it is panned by critics. It's, like, a terrible film, like, so bad, like, comically, not even comically, like, the room level is bad. It is just terrible. It's the 50s. They don't know what they're doing. They're just making it up as they go along, all right? So, it was very poorly received. It was just, like, people were like, oh, why'd you even bother making it? However, it gets worse. Because when they were filming The Conquered... Oh, I know! You're like, oh, it can't get worse. When they were filming The Conquered, they filmed downwind... Downwind of a nuclear test site. Um? They filmed <laughs> this downwind of a nuclear test site and like it affected almost like half of the people who worked on the film like loads of people went on to get like horribly sick like really really bad like for years and years like it was awful and it's just like it's such a mess like it was a terrible film it was terribly planned like john wayne as genghis khan like i i cannot I, I can't tell you how wild that is and then you have everything else on top of it like so much of the cast and crew like were really really sick like really really unwell no one ever like got in trouble about it. it was very bad and also i mentioned john wayne was genghis khan like that was that was a very important point here like it was a mess so that's what they got up to the 50s that's what the conqueror is uh yeah jeez i yeah that's that's it that's it that's all i got for you <laughs> I am flabbergasted. <laughs> <Me too. laughs> Sorry, I Me felt like too. Pam's answer was being like that felt like being slapped, and then you just come along with, "Well, it's a it's a film, but it's bad for different reasons." <laughs> I love how they're all bad movies. <laughs> I want to see all of these. <laughs> well, then, in that case, Rainy, don't disappoint. What the fuck is the conqueror? <laughs> Oh god, let me tell you. So, The Conqueror is a 1978 film directed by yes! Erwin Allen and starring yes! Michael Caine. <laughs> <laughs> it is indeed a film. It's starring Michael Caine. And um let me tell you a, a quick a quick rundown of the plot basically. Um so uh it, it, the year is uh, a a year. Um <laughs> 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 and um there is there is like a th a, a threat of killer bees on the horizon and, and the scientists are looking what into it yeah 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> there's killer bees um and the, and the scientists that the the they're tracking these killer bees and the they they go to like their boss and they're like hey boss there's like killer there's like killer bees so maybe we should do something question mark and their boss is like what bees no that's nothing mate just you know actually focus on more important stuff um, but then the bees they escape 
and they 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 attack like the, the this family on a farm and um they end up killing the the people who live on the farm except for the son who gets stung by a bee a killer bee but he survives and he gets wait for it bee powers <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I didn't even wait that long, but all of these feel like just physical. Just like the confusion. Cake might be done. He's, he's Spider Man. Check back with me. But bees. He's Spider Man, but bees. He's. 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 he's so, so, just to recap. Mm. We've got film about Santa Claus uh, brainwashing children, question mark, if I understood this correctly. <laughs> film yeah. about Genghis Pla Khan played by someone who should not have been playing Genghis Khan. And also <laughs> nuclear fallout, maybe. And Superman, uh, Spider-Man, if he had bees. Bees, yeah, bees. Mine is bees. <laughs> uh, also, uh, uh, Michael Caine, but mostly bees. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> I don't quite know what to think. I'm going to be real. I would like to believe all of these are real, honestly. I, I want to believe all of them. There's we should three be. films I named The Congra and they're all about bees. <laughs> I can't stop thinking about bee Spider Man. <laughs> It's Beater Man. <laughs> no! What have you talked into the wild? What have you done? What have you done? He basically becomes like the queen bee and like direct. He like becomes the queen of the swarm of bees and like, Ooh. you know, he takes over like the city and um, because the city can't be saved, the government orders the entire city to be firebombed. So there's that. <laughs> and you didn't feel to put this in your initial explanation? I'm not gonna lie, I was caught- I was fully caught up on the fact that this guy got bee powers. <laughs> <laughs> like, that seemed like the most important thing to me. <laughs> there is no happy ending. Oh, also, it was a really shit movie, and let me read to you one of the quotes that the critics gave it. Oh, it's really good, hang on. They oh, described no. it as... Surprisingly flaccid in its thrills. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck are they cooking? What is anyone in this entire stream cooking? God! I, I genuinely... I have tears, there's literal tears on my face. <laughs> <laughs> Collateral damage. Rainy, this is not PvP. Sorry, I think sorry, it can be. It can be. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just li listen. I didn't. I didn't make the movie. I didn't critique the movie. I'm just. I. I read the word flaccid. It was there. It's there. Uh, well, that was a conscious choice on your part, right? So, You're welcome. <laughs> so immediately, the thing is, Rainy. The thing about the bees, apart from all yeah. the other things about the bees. Okay. Okay. I am gonna start with this. I do not doubt for a second that two of you have taken an existing fucking ridiculous film and just plastered the name The Conqueror right on it. I believe it in some form, all of Cake, what are you looking at? What, what are you looking no. like that for? No. <laughs> <laughs> She's looking kind of sus if you ask me. Mm -hmm. Sus. Suaus. Sus. I, I say we vote Cake. <laughs> What? Can we this, eject this is, cake? No, that's a different no. game. <laughs> please, it wasn't me. I didn't kill game. anybody, please. <laughs> <laughs> I've been good all year, please. <laughs> uh, I was in Oxygen and I saw Cake kill Pam. No! Yeah, I'm dead. I'm dead. I can confirm it. Yeah, no, true. no, someone was Pam is literally mind. dead. That was identity theft. That was someone else. What? <laughs> <laughs> identity theft! <laughs> And it's it was someone in a wig and ears. It was someone in a wig and ears looking like me. Identity theft. It was not me. I didn't do not. <laughs> well, you know what? Rin already has like the dark hair split. She just have to dye one side of it orange. And... Oh. You, you know, you make a good point. Rin, did you did you theft my identity to kill someone and did get me killed? Did you kill me? Wait, did you kill I Pam? don't know did... anymore. I don't. What did you? 
Oh we are, we'll find out. Am I alive? Am I dead? Have I been me. lied to three times or just one time? I don't know. <laughs> None of you could be telling the truth for all I know. One, I, I specifically went in to the voice call while we were setting up and I said, guys, just because we've had this issue in the last two rounds, you don't have to lie to me if you are meant to be telling the truth. And then I don't remember which one of you it was, but one of you went, but what if I want to? So I don't and know if I can trust me, anyone. <laughs> I think that was all of us. I think that was all of you I is mean, the problem. Like, I think we were all like, but okay. It. I need to be a crack, you know? It's just a crack. I, I, I so when no you so say I'm... don't do it, you mean do it. Oh, Jesus Christ. So the thing about the bees circling, uh, bee lining back to this point, Rainy. Uh, bee lining. <laughs> is You're welcome. I feel like I've heard of this movie before. I don't think uh -huh. it was called The Conqueror. I think it would have been called something else. Like well, Beepocalypse or something equally <laughs> stupid. <laughs> like Birdemic, but just like different. No, it was de it's definitely called The Conqueror. I, the Conqueror refers to the boy who got bead. He is so now the now Conqueror also, of the, the city. I, I feel like more than anything, he got conquered personally. By the bees? <laughs> yeah. All along, he was just a puppet. He was part of the hive mind. Yeah. Oh. oh, I don't know what the to think. Hive That's a plot twist. Mind. There are plot twists in the fucking I... game show. The Yo. doesn't care about film spoilers. <laughs> it's brilliant. I don't know where I am. So this was like the original B movie, literally. I hate this. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, 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 did a bee bring, was it, would the bee bring anyone to court? Because that's what ties into the bee movie. You have to have a bee bring mm. someone to court and get a legal team, right? I'd but imagine you gotta, you gotta bring like, it all together. I'd imagine if like bees took over the city, then the court is the bees. It's a bee court. Ooh. Everybody the is bees. The court is the bees. Powerful. Mm. Your bees, I'm bees, chat is bees, we are all bees. You hear that chat? The plot mm. is bee lining. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm getting rid of chat. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is bees. We don't need In you the anymore. end, we are all bees. <laughs> In the end, we are all bees. Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, I still feel like, like it's called the Conqueror because the boy is the Conqueror. I that doesn't resonate with me. That doesn't uh, resonate. Buzz bees, whatever. Well, it was a bad movie. I so believe like, this film just... exists. I just don't yeah. think it's called the Conqueror. Cake, remind okay. me, because I'm just thinking about the fucking, like, nuclear waste thing or whatever. <laughs> remind me very briefly what your thing was about. Mine is... Genghis oh, Khan. Good question. Genghis uh, Khan. Genghis Khan. Yeah, t thank you for reminding me of the thing. I was trying to remember. <laughs> I've got you. Remember. I've got you. I've got you. Because you should have looked at it if it was your article. I'm a genius. I'm gaslighting now. I'm so gaslighting now. I'm so gaslighting now. I'm so gaslighting now. I've grown up. I'm not a I'm not a small boy anymore. When I was a young boy. I know what I'm fucking doing. My body. Listen to me. Nice John shot, Wayne was cast as Genghis Khan, and this was widely regarded as an awful move. And it was a terrible film. It was terribly cast. Nobody liked it. It was a big waste of actually, technically, I think they spent like six million dollars on it. I think they actually made like nine million in the box office. But like, you know, it was it wasn't great. And uh, she's what else would you be doing in the fifties? Only going to the films, you know, to the flicks. Dare the I say? Films, yeah. Like, what else would you be doing with yourself? So of course, mm. I made a couple of quid, um, but. Yeah, down down with the nuclear waste. Um, it was uh, yeah yeah. It was it was about Genghis Khan. Uh, and it was, I, I don't. Nuclear I, waste. <laughs> it was about we the nuclear Khan. waste. Like. Wonderful. Thank you. <laughs> I appreciate it. I mean, I do listen. I don't know what to tell you. I mean, like when I think of John Wayne, I don't think of Genghis Khan because Genghis Khan was like, you know, he was one of I can't remember what they're called. I think said one of the lads. Um, <laughs> <laughs> He was no, one I don't like him, that's it. <laughs> he was a solid was bloke. <laughs> he was one of the, he was like he was one of the Huns. <laughs> but like, so why but like he one of the lads? What kind of Hun? Specifically. I forgot the word Hun. <laughs> Lads, 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 wait! When, when I think of John Wayne, I think of him in like a cowboy film, and he's got the hat on and everything. So like, it's a really like it's a it's especially weird casting. It's like telling 
I don't know any actors. This is really bad. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I can't give a single actor. <laughs> God, I don't know. It's, I don't know. It's like saying, oh yeah, John Wayne is, I don't know, in a rom-com. I don't know. I don't know. It's just very strange. Mongols! Sorry. No, not Huns. Not Huns. Not Huns. The other ones. Mongols. I'm I'm going uh, forever to history prison for that one. I choose to believe that he see was you in just history one prison. Just one of the lads, like. He was just, he was just, just on one. a lad's night. Oh, <laughs> yeah, he's just, just one of the boys, like. Oh, you know, dear. A few just Bruce Bruce with with Eve, Bruce. you know. You see, <laughs> I feel like I caught you out, though, with the, oh, that's what it was meant to be kind of thing. But then I remembered that Isla pulled that shit, and Jun pulled that shit, and you are in the prime position to be pulling that shit. <laughs> You're getting gaslight, geeky, girl bust, bee bust. <laughs> just, but the thing is. I feel like they would not call, or maybe they would call like a story about Santa Claus going mad with power, the Conqueror. Maybe they would just claim it. They that. Would. It's hilarious. Why wouldn't they? <laughs> because someone and has to be lying here. Christmas I don't have any <laughs> doubt that this film is real. I just don't know if it was called the Conqueror. Or plot twist: we have all been given three different films, all with the same name. <laughs> yeah. What if we're all right? None of what us are What if we are all right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, leave dun, it to my manager dun, to pull dun. that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, this is what I get, honestly. So, let's see. Uh, so, I, I still don't think it's Uranie, just because bees, lol. Um, <laughs> bees, lol. You know what? You don't want my flaccid bee movie? <laughs> Please halt with this. <laughs> I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. Cake, was it you? D was was that your article? Is the Conqueror? Yeah. I I so you completely cut out there, so I have no idea. What uh, that yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah it was mine. We'll it was mine. Oh, it was you. Mine. Yeah. Wait, I'm smart then. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my gaslighting was for nothing. Oh well. Uh, we we, we No, that's fine. You can gaslight me anytime. It's fine. I'll okay. just cry about it. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I would like to confess to chat though, I made up the ending of my movie. That was not the ending. You made it up. A gaslight inside of a yeah. gaslight. <laughs> yeah. was there was a nothing gaslight. relating to the title, so I made up the ending. It was total crap. <laughs> Don't oh, look it up. It's not, there is a real movie, but that's not what happened. <laughs> what's it called? What's the name? What, what's the name it, of the movie? It was Santa movies? Claus. It was Santa Claus Conquers the Martians, but it was too what wholesome, was so I had, I had to change it. <laughs> Yeah, I, I thought it, it seemed a bit dissonant. Right, Rainy, what was... Yeah. That's, what was your B-movie prequel called? Oh, um, oh, sorry, um, <laughs> sorry, I zoomed in. The real Conqueror has arrived. Good dramatic effect. Um, so mine is, mine is indeed the 1978 film directed by Owen Allen. It's called The Swarm. And oh, that's why it, I know it from, because I know I'd heard a boy, of it, just A sense. boy does, in fact, get stung by bees. I don't know if he gets bee Kill powers, bees. but it says, like, mm -hmm. because of him getting stung by the bees, he starts hallucinating about bees. He has bee hallucinations. I don't think that's a superpower. Aww. I think that's something that you need um, therapy for, maybe. Maybe medication. <laughs> Let <laughs> me tell my mm -hmm. therapist mm -hmm. about my bee hallucinations <laughs> my next therapy. time I go. <laughs> <laughs> my therapy. <laughs> It's over. It's over. And um, that 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 quote about being a flaccid movie was indeed real as well. So I, you're welcome nice. for that. Cool story, bro. <laughs> I think that's just like the the tagline for this game. Cool story, bro. That could be the title, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Change the name of the stream. Cool story, bro. I've already done mm -hmm. all the branding. It's too late. <laughs> The oh. bee randing. <laughs> and with that, uh, <laughs> Beer Day. Happy Beer oh, Day. Oh, thank you. Oh, dear. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you all for coming out tonight. Even Thanks if, for having us. Thank even you. If now really I have love you. Happy Beer Day. <laughs> Why do they exist? Why are they like this? <laughs> Oh dear. Right then. Unfriend all of us after this. <laughs> Goodbye. Don't talk to me ever again. Does anyone have anything they want to say real quick before? Oh. Ready? Uh, really ready? Your birthday's coming up. Now. Oh god, you want me to tell oh. me about? Okay. Uh, hello. Be quick, uh, I'm late. 
Okay, sorry, I'll be really quick. Uh, I'll be really quick. Ha, <laughs> sorry. Uh, it's my birthday on... Oh, it's my birthday on the 15th of February. You guys can come if you want, I guess. Like, it's fine. Like, if you don't, if you can't make it, it's fine. But, like, if I you want to come, there. you can come. Like, I definitely so. won't be there. Rin, Rin Penrose will definitely not be there because I did not invite Rin Penrose, <gasps> so... Sad! <Ooh. laughs> the drama! And with that, we're going to take a quick break before we go into our final round. Thank you for all coming out. Um, I can't trust any of you anymore. You scare me. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> You're welcome. Thank you. Oh, bye bye. Bye bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye. bye, -bye.
there we go. My 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 garbage actually works this time. Brilliant. It's almost as if I'm learning how to stream. It's, <laughs> I've only been here for a year and a half. Right then. The final round we have joining us this time. Oh me, oh my, oh boy. Um I think this guy likes Peggle. It's Banzoin Hacker. Let's fucking oh god damn it, I just used my one word bad pass. Um <laughs> Fuck! Hi, it's me! <laughs> You're a thin ice kid. <laughs> and, too far, man, too far. And my God fellow Tomodachi Life 2 believer, it's Kai Psychota. Yo! Let's go! God, Tomodachi Life, please come to me, please! Please! <laughs> Tomodachi. What the hell is Tomodachi Life? And last but not least, uh, she's totally joining Idol this time, guys. For real, it's happening. <laughs> Uh, Rin, I ha I hate to correct you, but you actually got my name wrong. Uh, if you if you look here, you'll see. Um, I actually I prepared a name <laughs> tag for this. Uh, <laughs> so um, I, if you can introduce me correctly, please, that would be much appreciated. Uh, thank you. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, wait, this is crazy. I've never seen Punkalopi and Rin in the same room. Wait, everything makes sense now. Yo, I'm not saying I'm Punkalopi. I'm just saying. <laughs> Rin is just really good at ventriloquy, dude. It's, it's a puzzle. Uh, it's, it's, all VTubers can actually... All VTubers are actually really good at ventriloquy. Don't look it up. It's, it's, a, new, it's, a, it's a new VTube Studio plugin. Says the guy who Whoa. doesn't use VTube Studio. Eyes. <laughs> right then. So, uh, for anyone just joining us, uh, the rules of this game are simple. Each one of you has been given a random Wikipedia article, and in a second I'm going to read the title of one of them. Um, I don't know whose article it's going to be, and it is these guys' job to convince me that it is theirs. And the final article we will be looking at tonight... I don't need a drum roll. It's fine. Don't do one. Don't do one. Don't do one. But, 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 but what if you ask really nicely? Like, what if, what if you just say, like, pretty please drum roll? Like, it, that, yeah. that, I think that would, that would work pretty good. Yeah. You gotta firm, you gotta firm. You gotta be like, uh -huh. please, give me a, please give me a nice drum roll. Pretty please with a cherry on top please. drum roll. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No! It's wooden spoon. <laughs> the theme is wooden spoon. <laughs> I don't <laughs> see. Wonderful. So what That's my happened? fucking specialty. Let me tell you that. Dude, what I know all about wooden spoons. <laughs> I'd hope you would. What? Okay. What happened was basically I asked management. I asked my manager. Hey. I don't. I need to not know what these articles are. So please go out and choose like twelve random ass Wikipedia articles for me to put in the game. And then they did, and th now we're here. And I'm just wondering. I know you're watching. I know you're watching, sir. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, I mean, no. it's a, it's a, wooden spoons we use in our daily life. It's it's important to know about. I'd say. Excuse yeah. me, daily right. life. Kai, you, you must be about... reading the wrong Wikipedia article. Wooden spoons are not used in our daily life. What? The, what do you? This is this, this huh? is a beautiful like it's a, it's a beautiful act of love. A wooden spoon, if you know. Mm -hmm, you should be mm -hmm. aware of that. Mm -hmm. Okay, and, and with that concerning phrase in mind, uh, let's go one by one. Haka, what does this Wikipedia article wooden spoon refer to? <clears throat> All right, buckle the fuck up. You see, oh, no. in the 1800s, back when marriage was actually forbidden, uh, they used to use code words for things, right? There used to be this section of land that was really against marriage, and people would get so fucking pissed if you found, like, the true love. So what they actually did is that they went ahead and they made a code for it, right? It was called Wooden Spoon. Because what you would do is you would grab a spoon and you would scoop up your bride, your wife, your husband, whatever the fuck you wanted to marry. So that way, you would scoop them up and marry them. It is actually irrefutable scientific basis that this was a really good way to make people understand the code. And that way, avoid any laws that were against marriage. I'm going to circle back around to when marriage was illegal in the 1800s. <laughs> Kai, what is wooden spoon when it's at home? <laughs> yeah, no, that was crazy. That was that was a whole lot of a lot of hoopla because if you actually knew the wooden spoon lore, you'd know that it was actually something used during medieval times. Um when people would get uh it gets what's the word? Uh a, a blockage, if you will. Um in, oh, right in the rump, in the rear, right? Uh PG fifteen! PG fifteen! If you will. <laughs> but I got like, so when you PG okay, clean, ladies. <laughs> 
doctors, all right? Doctors, all right? So back before, you know, you get all... <laughs> what's the what's the spoon used for? What's the spoon used well, for, Kai? It's, it's what's the spoon help. used it's for? It's to help. It's to help. Dude, they were fucking weird. I don't know why they used a fucking spoon. Don't ask me, all right? I don't know why you're saying PG, PG. Okay, that's what they did. And I'm just telling you what they did in medieval times before they had medicine to help with your poopies. <laughs> Very mature. Thank you. I don't know you. why you're laughing. You, this is like very serious. Be that, that, that was, that was very serious. beautiful. That was beautiful. Thank you. And Thank you. moving swiftly on, Lopi. Uh huh. What the fuck? Yeah, so a wooden spoon is actually a subspecies of beetle that's commonly found in the Amazon jungle. Oh, that was smooth. Oh, that was just that was just like that. Even even I believe that shit. What the fuck? Not this again! You're too good at this. You scare me. Oh, I think I might actually be starting to believe this guy. No! No! You don't get to say that! Stop gaslighting me! It's Haka. Haka has it. No, okay. Oh, dear God. So. Okay. There was so much authority on really? that. There was like so oh. much like principle and like just like the way that they said it's it's a beetle. It's a beetle. Well, the article was actually really interesting. It went into like how it was discovered and the scientists that like originally found it and studied it. It, okay. it was a cool read. I'd recommend okay. it after the stream. I, I hate to interrupt you. Uh -huh. Are you gonna be real? I was pretty like, yeah, it's probably Lopi. Until you said it was an interesting Wikipedia article. Because not to bash Wikipedia articles, but it's a Wikipedia <laughs> article for a fucking insect. So Rin Penrose, I hate to break it to you, but I do, um, I, I, I am autistic. I enjoy I Wikipedia articles well. very much. I will sit down and I will read Wikipedia in my free time just to find something that I find funny or cool or neat. So if you want to know about the subspecies of beetle known as the wooden spoon, please ask me because I will tell you about it. But I've heard, <laughs> okay, relatable. I've heard this story before because earlier, Oh dear, so you guys were watching earlier, weren't you? Oh dear lord. <laughs> if, if we remember in round two, Dan went fucking off. Dan fucking popped <laughs> off about his shit, only to reveal, like 20 minutes later, yeah, I made the entire thing up. And I'm getting the same vibes from you, Miss Lopi. Well, I'm honored to be compared to Dan because, uh, you know, I really look up to him, but um, I what? would never a lie to you in Penrose. I a actually, I actually, I have, I have something prepared um, oh, to prove that I'm not lying to you, if, if you'll, if you'll look here. Certificate um, of Honesty. Wait. It's, it's signed by you. It's signed by you, so it's a, it's yeah, a, it's a big deal. Yeah, you literally signed it before that. stream, Rin. Wait, Wait Rin, why would you read it. this? Why would you do this? You signed it, Rin. You signed it yourself. That's literally your handwriting. Wait a sec. She's a rabbit. She doesn't know how to fucking write. Yeah, I couldn't make this. What the you fuck? Do you think she has opposable yeah. thumbs? Wait a second. This guy might be on to something. <laughs> oh dear lord. So I cannot. You. I cannot believe this, dude. You're. 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 You're so I mean. I can't believe any rabbit. of you. Mm -hmm. Must be nice. I'm okay. Let's go over this in order. Haka. Yes. When marriage was illegal in the 1800s. Now. Yeah. Were you, were you alive by then? Yes, actually. So. No, you were not. You hand, don't. You know. You don't know a fucking thing. On one hand, I'm like, is he referring to like just certain kinds of marriage, or are you talking about all marriages between any <laughs> persons ever? I am talking about a specific area of, of, of a section of a land, of a of a position, of a location, of a certain country that was against marriages, see? They were against marriages, and there's the reason why they created the wooden spoon code Name word, the country. So that way they could basically scoop them. I cannot, I cannot. Name the country. Um... Uh, um, um... Wow, the size um, is uh, Alaska. You know, I kind of believe him. <laughs> He's Alaska, very convincing. Dude. Especially when he took a minute to like think about it. That really convinced me then. He, you know, that was he when really, I really made solidified. sure that like, you know, correct information. Don't don't want to spread misinformation on stream. That would be bad. Yeah, man. exactly. I'm literally reading a straight from the Wikipedia article here. It says, in Alaska in the 1800s, but when, when it was just 
Alice because Ka got added when they um, got to the U.S. You see, what? I'm, I'm, it's very, it's very uh, historically accurate. Yeah, alas, they used to be against any type of marriages because they're like, no man, fuck that. You think I'm gonna like spend the rest of my life with someone? So they were just like, you know, pissed off, right? And then suddenly they were like, you know what? I love you. I'm gonna go ahead and make a code word so we can all get married without the government knowing about this. Therefore, this wooden spoon, because you're gonna scoop up the love of your life. See, you gave them a wooden spoon and you scooped them up. This is very elaborate, so it must be true. <laughs> I have to it wonder. It must be true. What's Alaska? I don't know the history of Alaska. First and foremost, let me make that abundantly Would you like yeah, no, Nor do I. That's why I'm reading a fucking Wikipedia article. And I'm just wondering if Alaska spoke English at that time. Oh no, they didn't. So they was speak it. polar bear. So, they spoke Alaskan. So, Mr. Banzoin Hacker, <laughs> your pun is whack. Yes. They would not be scooping up shit, sir, because that is an English phrase. Bro, it comes from the mythical Alaskan language, <laughs> which basically means wooden spoon. You would not, you would not know us. shit. This is the most confident lie I've seen in a long time, and I've been surrounded by I don't know what the hell you're today. talking about. <laughs> See, you're, you're just ignorant. You're just ignorant because you don't know the, uh, about the mystical uh, old Alaskan ancient language of the... You don't know about that. No, Damn, but wait, where'd you learn how to speak that? That pronunciation was so good. Where did you learn that? Oh, I actually went to a scholarship there. I was, you know, in... in um, you in, went to uh, a scholarship? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to a scholarship to Alaska College to uh, oh. learn how to take care of polar bears. Oh, yeah, Alaska oh. College. Yeah, yeah, my uncle went there. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. I don't even think you have an uncle at this, right, Kai? I don't even think I can believe that. <laughs> I don't have a fucking uncle! <laughs> Fuck you! You, you, don't, you don't know anything about my Uncle Jerry. If you know he, your Uncle he, Jerry, He would like name, to have a word with you. Name, na name him. Jerry. Uncle Jerry. Jerry what? Jerry Sykota. Fuck. You can't argue with that. And, I, and, I, and, and, and I thought VTuber names were fucking weird. <laughs> Jerry's a completely normal name. All right, I don't know why you're dissing my uncle Jerry. All right, he's fucking cool. All right, keep, keep whatever. His name out your fucking mouth. Cool. I love Jerry. <laughs> Justice for Jerry. Whatever you say, bestie. Oh dear God. I, Haka, if that is, yes. if you are telling the truth, then my my crown goes off to you because I'm not wearing a hat right now. But we'll when, come when back would I that. ever lie to you? When would I ever lie to you? We're, we're cousins times. in a very distant bloodline. Why would I? Why would I lie to my own blood? What, what the fuck? The gaslighting, the manipulation. <laughs> the Can you fucking believe that? And I, I on one hand, I we were... I'm not lying. I'm just a little guy. On the other hand, I'm not lying. I'm your cousin. Like what? What the? What is going why, on why, here? Why? Why would you even what? dare to imply that I'm lying? I, could, I just can't believe this. Dude. Our cousin and just a little guy mutually exclusive. Damn, good point. Uh, not, just asking, like I. Not only lying to me, but also shitting on Kai's uncle Jerry, dude. What? The yeah. Fuck? Yeah. What the fuck can't about that, dude. Jerry? Jerry? Yeah. If Jerry wants Fucking to defend rude. his honor, he can come play my game show. That's on him. That's on him. Bet. Bet. All right. All right. My uncle's gonna become a VTuber. That's, I, that's gonna be a hell of a fucking live stream. Thank you. I, yeah, I whenever his kids fucking find him. <laughs> <laughs> Keep Jerry's name out of your mouth. Shut the hell up. What are you talking about? Stop dissing my uncle, man. I'm gonna get mad. All right. I'm gonna fucking leave. I swear to God, if somebody talks bad about Jerry one more time, I'm gonna, I'm it's okay. Fucking I, lose I it. love Jerry. I'm Jerry's actually it. my Yoshi. Uh, is he? Yeah, my really? Yoshi. You're not lying to me. Yeah, mm. Jerry Sykota. I I've literally memorized every single song he's covered. Um, I have a playlist of all of his live streams, and I run a clipping channel for him. Holy shit! Then what do you love about Jerry? Hmm? Uh, I love, love his personality, much. and I love the fact that his niece is really, really nice and definitely not easy to bully, and uh, she um, introduced me to him, and it was really great when we all got to meet up, and then he lo loaned me his Lamborghini so that I could drive all those orphans away from the burning down orphanage. <laughs> while he was donating blood. While he was donating blood, dude. He really did. He was oh, donating Mr. blood Jerry. while doing all that shit, dude. He oh, like Jerry insane. Said? What, what a hero, dude. That? Holy shit. <laughs> what is that? You wanna play? That's Jerry's dog! Leave him alone! Somebody had to fucking take care of him!
Axel! That's fucking Axel! He's excited to be here! Leave him alone! He just he just he just had his 3D! Oh, I leave leave the self promo for like the end of the <laughs> leave the self promo for the end of the round, buddy. Wait, the round is still going. Wait, we're still talking. <laughs> what is this <laughs> live? What? <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, wooden spoon. I'm telling you, a qu yeah. a, a quarting method I, back in the I, good old you've days. You've had your turn. You've had your turn. <laughs> Sit down. My Sit uncle down. Jerry used to have a wooden spoon. <laughs> Kai. Wait, your Uncle Jerry needed a wooden spoon, Kai? Yeah. Oh no! <laughs> he was old, so... He, Kai, you know. <laughs> Kai, I've got... I, he I, didn't I... drink enough fucking... What is it? Cranberry juice? What the fuck helps with constipation? I don't know. Kai, I've, juice? I've, got, yeah. I've got to tell you something right here and right now. Yes, ma'am. That seems like the most you lie imaginable. <laughs> The thing is, the thing is, Why? I specifically made sure that we weren't going to get articles with subject matter like this. So you just confidently waltz in here being like, yeah, yeah, so medical thing, a wink wink. But it's, but it's literally a medical thing. Constipation is a metal, medical thing. What toilet paper, mean? toilet paper was not a thing back then. They had to make use of it. Yeah. They had to make do. I'm just sitting here. I don't think my manager would do this to me. I've done I've done a lot wrong by that man, but I don't think he'd do this to me. <laughs> Dodd, well I'm sorry, you don't get a team out of me, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I maybe apologize. Jared had next more, time I'll actually lie. lie. Next time. Next time I'll lie. Alright. Can't believe this. For the record, there is no, no advantage. Arguably, there is a disadvantage to trying to convince me that you're lying when you actually have the right article. Allow me- No, I believe you, Kai. Don't worry. I don't know what you're talking about. Rin, I have been nothing but honest with you this entire time. And that brings yeah. me on to you, Miss Punkalope. Uh -huh. So, like- you answered that incredibly quickly at first. Yes, yeah. yeah, a beetle. Yep. Yeah. yeah. And now I'm just wondering, why the fuck uh -huh. would they call a beetle wooden spoon? Well, you know stick bugs? Oh, dear God. Okay, go on. So, stick bugs look like sticks, so they got called stick bugs. So the scientist that discovered the wooden spoon, he was actually Australian, and uh, he thought it looked like a wooden spoon, so he named it that. There's some fancy Latin name that I can't really pronounce, but yeah, he just, it, it's called the wooden spoon because it looks kind of like a wooden spoon. I can DM you a photo after stream if you want. It's kind of funny looking. That is, that is conf- I can DM you a photo after stream. That is confidence right there. That is a dangerous bluff. Last time Flayon told me that I, it didn't end up well, but yeah, go ahead. <laughs> what the fuck? I, I could DM you a photo right now if you want, if you wanted no. to have an on stream, but I feel like that would ruin the game. No, because then you can send me a picture of literally anything and I'll be like, oh, she actually did it. Wow, that's evidence. Without <laughs> fucking fact checking anything. So like, where am I then? Where am I then? You're in the exact same place you are right now. So it's your choice. Do you want to take this risk, Rin Penrose, Idol EN? See, the thing is, uh -huh. when I put you next to the other two people in this room, uh -huh. you know, you know, these not at all guilty looking people. Uh -huh. I don't know. I don't look guilty. Uh -huh. the model I don't you know what you're like, talking sir. about. I am beautiful. He looks Damn. like just a little guy. Damn. How dare you? <laughs> I wish I had this. How dare you? <laughs> On my birthday, you have better mental health than me. <laughs> it's my gift to you. <laughs> it's his present. His presence. What the... Bask in my glory. Happy birthday, you jackass. <laughs> what the... I feel... Listen. Uh -huh. Parker, I don't believe for a second that there was... That marriage was outlawed in Alaska in the 1800s. Kai, you wouldn't this fucking goes know you're everything. British. You're not Ka Alaskan. Kai, yeah. I mean true, but uh. Kai, like, if you're if you're right, then I have to have a strong word with my manager about what is suitable. <laughs> uh, yeah, fucking get him. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
kill him. Do it. So I feel do like- it. It's easy. I feel like out I'll of all it. of you, it has to be Lopi. Uh -huh. So, I'm gonna ask, Punkalopi, uh -huh. is there actually a bug called the wooden spoon out there? Absolutely fucking not. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> I to I told you I wasn't lying. <laughs> Wait, so what? <laughs> My man Dude, Haka. I trust Haka out of everyone. Now that you've confirmed I'm imposter among us, I think Haka is the one telling the truth. Kai, honestly, out of all of us, I think he sounded the most convincing. <laughs> I'll be honest, yeah. Kai, that's not something you should be saying as someone who's trying to win, but I, I don't believe you, so it's fine. <laughs> Haka, my man. <laughs> Was marriage actually outlawed in Alaska in the 1800s? Nah, fuck no, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Rin. Mr. Rin. Manager, we're gonna have a talk about this. No, later. Rin, no, Rin, Rin, Rin. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm so fucking sorry. Let me just, let me just drop um, the DM. This, this, uh, wait, wait, no. The wooden spoon was an award. That was given to an individual or team that has come last in a competition. The term is of British origin and has spread to other English speaking countries. Um, it's basically a big loser's badge. Which Kai. is the one you're having right now. Uh -huh. yeah. Kai? Kai? <laughs> Kai? Yes. Kai. I informed you, <laughs> Kai. Kai. I told you, Kai. I told you. If you have the right article, Kai, you don't have to lie to me. Kai Psychota, Kai. Kai, I, but, are you- But, Kai, but, 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 but would it be funny? But what if I, would it be funny <laughs> if I told the truth? And I add a little spice, all right? All right, I'll be honest, dude, I'm so stupid. I, t I didn't even think about it in like that bad way, okay? I just thought, oh, smooth, constipation, that would be funny because I'm stupid. I'm literally a fifth grader, haha, <laughs> poopies, haha, <laughs> okay? She heard, nice. she heard she heard us lying and she was like, well. <laughs> I, yeah, I want to join in too. <laughs> Fellow contestants, can I tell Rin what we did before she made it into the call? <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Rin, we all read each other's Wikipedia articles. We yes. all know all three. <laughs> 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 but you have no rule over me. <laughs> Get away from me. I'm my own being. All right. I am, fucking, I am my own prince. My, my fucking article was wife carry. <laughs> <laughs> Mine was ski ballet. <laughs> I hate all of you. I hate all of you. Every single one. Don't Rin in our me. defense. You scheduled us as last, and we were all here an hour early, so we had an hour to do nothing. That was your no, that was your first mistake. I'm sorry. No. I'm sorry. You should not have let us in the room an hour early. Yeah. We, we like we like we like introduced each other. We're like, hey, hi, I'm Haka, and then suddenly, what did we fuck up, Rin? <laughs> we just lied. We're friends. <laughs> what if we fuck up, Rin? <laughs> Makes that makes it a funnier year, Rin. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Good job, guys. We did oh, good today. Man. We did, we did good. Was, good. I'm proud of us, day. honestly. Yeah. Yeah. Beautiful. High good five? Yeah. On, beha on behalf of my Alaskan oh, yeah. people, a high, high five. five. <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> How the fuck did you even come up with that? <laughs> That's so fucking random. <laughs> So random. <laughs> <laughs> do, do, do you not think about Alaska randomly, dude? dude. <laughs> my, the main question that always surfaces my mind is, are there polar bears in Alaska? I mean, in complete dude. honesty, in regards to our lies we told, I was reading Wikipedia articles about beetles yesterday, so I was just kind of prepared for this. 
I'll just not lie. What I said, I'll just sit down and read Wikipedia articles. (laughs) (laughs) Oh my god. Oh, Jesus. Fucking encyclopedic knowledge (laughs) about fucking (laughs) people. She didn't see the scientific name because she can speak Latin. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but Lopi, what did you read about beetles? What the heck? Oh, uh, yesterday I ended up on like a Wikipedia rabbit hole about this disease that was being spread uh, like oh my God. 500 years ago. What? And the fact that it originated from beetles. And I was like, oh, what kind of beetle is that? Are those still beetles? And then I was looking at photos of the beetles. And then I, it, it, it's a lot. I'll just kind of do that sometimes. <laughs> Damn, you and I have different types of fucking rabbit holes. <laughs> Holy shit. You're like fucking like like investigating like 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 chemical like disasters with fucking beetles. Like I'm here like pondering about Alaskan polar bears. <laughs> oh, my oh my fucking god. I'm still here by the way. <laughs> oh shit. That's right. It's my my birthday. birthday. My, my birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Riz! I mean, when you think about it, it's it's kind of like our birthday, right? Mm. No! Yeah. Right? No! You can't gaslight me after this fucking round is over! Jesus Christ! It's, it's, bro, we're, we're almost wearing the same clothes. We can at least share the birthday. Come on, don't Bitch, be fucking you, like... Bitch, you did your laundry. Yeah. Like don't talk to me. <laughs> I mean, we have split dyed hair, both of us, so we're basically the same person if you think about it. And we all kind like, of I, have some like, oh, holy shit. Tag. We we all have different hair colors. Oh my and god. We're all kind of blue though. Yeah. Or purple, sorry. We're all kind of purple. Oh. Oh, these people purple. Are... Wow. Well, <laughs> that's that's what I get for putting Banzoi and Hakakai Psychota and Punch <laughs> in the same place. You know what? At some point. That's gotta be you kinda, on me. You, you, you kind of did this to yourself. Yeah. You had a plan. That was a yeah. mistake. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah. hate it here. Yay! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Happy birthday! Oh dear Lord Jesus! Christ. So in the end. Everybody Ooh, wins. It doesn't even matter. Oh, yeah. yeah. Everybody <laughs> wins. Everybody wins. I mean, if we all lose, then technically everybody's kind of a No, winner. don't fucking start. Um. Don't do this. Don't do this. But look at the bright side. <laughs> if, we, if, loses. if we all lose, we get the wooden spoon. Therefore, it's a win. <laughs> we get the award. We all get the wooden spoon. Parenthesis award. Parentheses award. You should, Rin, you should show them how the wooden spin award looks like. Yeah. What? I'm not the it's kind of epic. <laughs> Can we You're get British, fucking spoons in the fucking chat? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah! Wait, look at this, look at this, Rin. Look, look, look at the spoon. <laughs> Funny. It's actually is really metal. large, actually. <laughs> yeah. I didn't think it'd be so big. I thought it would just be like an average size spoon, but it's just. Like, no, it's a I big ass. It's, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a big ass wooden spoon. That is a, that is like a, a seventy centimeters big spoon. Damn. Well, I'm I sorry, guess yeah, that's an American a big L. Yeah. <laughs> you have to be really desperate to use that for a blockage. L for win. <laughs> Middle Middle time, time, man. Stuff was crazy back then. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't play past him. <laughs> and with that, that's the last round. Oh Jesus Christ! Oh no! You, you people make me want to cry just a little bit. Thanks for coming. It was fun. Uh, I lied through of course, doing. dude. Thank Bye. you for having us. Yeah, yeah. Thank you for setting this up. It was really fun. Fuck yeah, oh, it's fun. Oh, oh. I've been watching the whole stream, and I'm just like, man, I can't wait to lie. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, Sam. <laughs> it was great. Happy birthday, Ren. Happy Hope birthday. Hope you have Ren. an Yay. awesome day. Smile. Oh, yeah. dear. Well, the most important thing is that we had fun and also that I'm blocking all of you. <laughs> no. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm kind of scared for the amount of just like pure psychological damage Rin has taken. To take. <laughs> and I can't help but feel partly responsible, but at the same the clip time, is going to be eating really caviar funny. this week. It's it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> With their wooden spoon. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for God's sake. I'm going. I'm going. I've got... Does okay. anyone have shit to announce before re I announce my shit? Remember, remember, food comes in, food comes out. I'm a menace to society and I'm not associating myself with you anymore. <laughs> what it's been, my Oshi. That's my Oshi. <laughs> Announcements. Does anyone have them? <laughs> subscribe. <laughs> subscribe to Rin. Please do yes, it, or I'll, I'll kill power. you. I will kill you with the spoon. No, with my gun. I'll kill you with my gun. <laughs> after after one <laughs> use of the spoon, guy. I would like to announce that I, Rin Penrose, will be celebrating my birthday today. Thank you all for coming to my oh, birthday. Thanks, I thank you, Rin. That one. <laughs> you are always happy to help. Okay. We're, 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 we're happy to be here. <laughs> Okay, and now we've finished the game. A certain someone can talk about about a friend's 3D debut. Oh yeah, Axel just had a 3D debut. Go check it out. It was really fucking cool and awesome. It was 100% uh, nice. Go watch you it. Hunted an Axel Locke. Go I'm now. Sorry for the guy. <laughs> Whatever happens to Axel, he had it coming. I mean, what? We're friends. Oh dear. Right then. In that case, I've got some announcements of my own, so I'm gonna I'm I'm, I'm gonna abandon all of you now because um you don't deserve. All right, you got Bye. this. Look. Happy Just birthday, like my Uncle Jerry, good luck. God damn it. No, oh, Jerry! Jerry! I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Jerry. Jesus Christ! Oh for oh for God's sake! Yeah. I'm out of here. I'm Jerry. out of here. Jerry. See you losers later. Jerry. <laughs> Bye. Oh god, finally I can hear myself fucking think. <laughs> Wooden spoon. Wooden spoon. You you people make me sick. <laughs> and with that, that has been two of these people are lying. I got a new cheering sound effect. We're so fucking back. Oh dear. Or are we? I can st they're all still in the fucking Discord pool. They're all still just like haunting the place. Feels like a good Jesus Christ. Not the- And my camera died. That's brilliant timing. <laughs> On my birthday? D d God, wow. Well, we figured out who the real friends are. Question mark, exclamation mark. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right, in that case, let me- Let me take a sip of my water. <laughs> So, there we go. A second to breathe. I would like to make before, okay, we have two announcements. And before we make those, I would just like to firstly find the materials I need for one of them because I fucking forgot. I'm sorry, Mr. COO, it will happen again. Oh dear. Let me just download some zip files real quick on stream. <laughs> Oh dear. Um, yeah, first of all, I want to thank everyone who came out. Uh, I sent the invites out way too late, and I was very lucky in that nobody turned me down. Uh, so, massive thanks to everyone who showed up, even if you're all fake friends. <laughs> even if you are all fake ass bitches. Um, no, that was. Jesus Christ. This has been a reminder as to why I need to do more game shows. Jeez, I haven't laughed out hard in a long few weeks. <laughs> Oh boy, it was, I'm gonna be real, a bit of a tech nightmare that I've just, that I've just lived through, but god, so worth it, so worth it. I don't want to do just like regular stuff for my birthday, I feel like it's obvious that I'm pretentious and annoying. So, um, I, I, I do hope everybody enjoyed that absolute nightmare, and with that being said, let's move on to some announcements. Oh, joyous day, Kalu Kale. So, without further ado, I would like to introduce... Goodness gracious, it's only been a year, but it's finally happening. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 
Rin Pandora's birthday much. <laughs> oh yeah! I get birthday much this year! It finally happened! Oh boy. <laughs> oh boy, let me uh get the 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 merch link. Deary me. Let me get the merch link. Merch link in the chat! Let's see if I can pin it before it disappears into the void and never to be seen by human eyes again. Nope. Are you sure you want to leave YouTube? Shut up! There we go. Twitch chat, you get it too. Wee! Yippee! Wahoo! Pin this message, bitch. Okay. So, no, I uh, I pinned the wrong message. That's brilliant. <laughs> Thank you, mods. So, Rin Penro's birthday merch, 2024. That's the year, if you want to wear. Oh, boy. It finally happened after God knows how long. Goods. She's got the goods. Let's go over them now. Smile. So. That would have been a better slide to start off with. <laughs> Go on. There you, there you pop. Birthday merch. Good lord, there's quite a few options for you here. We'll get on to my favourite later. So, first of all. It's all the other stuff again. <laughs> first, I just bought four. Okay. The set is $80. I hope you just bought four, like, pin badges or something. Dearie me. So... First of all, acrylic standee. Yay! Put, 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 put. Please applaud. I'm specifically requesting that you do so. Acrylic standee. They made it for me. Brave group. Save me. Save me, brave group. They did. They saved me this time. This time. Brave group made me a thing, and I'm selling it to you for an exorbitant markup because that's my. It would be weird if I wasn't. That's my personality. It's an acrylic stand, but it's got a background, so it's better. Arguably. It is. Oh no, they're, they're described as an acrylic diorama. Oh, silly me. Pardon my English. It is an acrylic diorama. It's got a it's got a background, it's got a base plate, it's got a me. Arguably the me is the worst part. You can slot any acrylic stand in if it fits. I don't care. <laughs> Please buy it. Oh dear. It's also got on the base. On the base? No. On the background. Got a little, uh, it's got a little uh, brave group life to describe as a foil stamp blahage drawn and signed by Rin because that's what it is. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's a luxury item, really. Rin Panos is a luxury some can afford. <laughs> oh dear. Put it in your room. I will judge you. That's what I've been doing all evening. Next. It's a badge and it's like a signed Polaroid thingamawalt set. They're called Polaroids, I believe. I have to believe. <laughs> Seems great, but I'm still waiting on your first March. 2023 birthday March will come out eventually. You'll know. <laughs> oh dear. A little badge for your for your for your coats and your eater bags and things like that. And a little signed thing that you can put in your wallet so you can always remember. Oh. Oh, that's what she looks like. Oh. I think that you should put it in your wallet and uh, bring it out anytime someone asks to see your ID. Because that'll be really funny. <laughs> it's got a different signature on. Gee, Rimpanaros, how come Brave Group said you're allowed to have two signatures? <laughs> oh, boy. And then finally, my beloved, my favorite thing, the best idol, the best merch idol has ever created. Try and read it. Try and read this shirt. I dare you. Let's see. I'm not saying I'm Rin. No Penrose, I'm just Bo. Saying D has ever seen me and Rin Penrose in the same two the room get a... <laughs> Why did they let me do this? This is the shit I've been hyping up this entire fucking week. I will admit, the caption is a little bit misleading because in actuality, we went to a graphic designer and we said, can you make this idea? And they said, will you pay for my health insurance? And long story short, I think they had a stroke. But um, many people have, this is the piece of merch that uh, Mr. COO described as quote, a war crime. It's brilliant, it's beautiful. It's the worst thing this company's ever gonna produce and I love it with all of my heart. Oh dear Lord. <laughs> 
That's what this is, baby! Oh, yeah! <laughs> oh, no. Oh, my hands and knees. Please, if you're not gonna buy anything else, buy the shirt. It's... I will say, it is only available in medium to extra large sizes. As someone who wears small shirts exclusively, this is a pajama shirt because no one wants to see you outside wearing this. Jesus Christ. You will- th you- this will turn you into some sort of, like, hazard. Oh, dear. <laughs> this will turn you into, like, some sort of cursed item, L let me tell you that for free. <laughs> if I get the set, I'm going to burn the shirt. Well, that's probably what this shirt deserves. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Oh no. You can get them all together for um for for 80 bucks. I don't know. That's like 70 something quid. Yay! And something different in Euro! Woohoo! I don't know price exchanges. That's alright. Oh dear lord. So, um, I didn't get birthday much last year, so please buy it or I'll cry! <laughs> Or I don't know what I'm going to do with myself anymore. <laughs> oh, dear. Rin Penrose birthday merch. Just because you can do something doesn't mean you should. Seriously, if you're not going to buy anything, please buy the shirt. I want Brave Root to see that I can be trusted with really bad ideas. <laughs> if this shirt sells well, we are both like over and simultaneously slow back. It's gonna be it's gonna be an interesting time. It's gonna be an interesting time. <laughs> oh no. Ugh. Oh, I should mention if you buy the entire full set, then you get it cheaper for the sum of than, than, than the sum of all the items because because you, you save ten dollars. Unless shipping, but I don't know what shipping is because I live in Europe. <laughs> this is gonna be the first uh, merch that we've done in collaboration with Brave Group, by the way. So, shipping times should be- I, when did it say it wants to ship? May! It's gonna be- it's gonna be May. So that's shockingly close, actually. Um, if you do buy, like, Poco and Fio both have, uh, both have birthdays coming up. If you buy their merch, it's gonna be- uh, the shipping's gonna wait for those, obviously. But if you buy now, we die now! Yeah! On sale until the 18th! It's very limited time. Presumably because Brave Group is afraid of what they've unleashed with this fucking shirt. <laughs> oh dear. The artwork is very good. Yes! The kinetic typography on the- <laughs> I hope you enjoy it! Mostly because I- I don't even care about money. I could be selling this shirt for a 0% cut. I'm just- I just want this to exist. I- I just want- I just want people to go to like VTuber cons in this fucking shirt and be like, wait a second. Huh. <laughs> oh dear. And then, okay, there are two announcements. The first one is the merch. Ta-da! ha ba 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 It's the thing. I gotta admit, I was on the fence until I saw, saw the shirt, but now I'm I'm still on the fence, but I haven't jumped off it and run in the opposite direction. <laughs> the shirt hasn't convinced me, but it might soon. But I hope it doesn't. <laughs> I already have a shirt with you on it, too, actually. Now you can get the official one. Damn. <laughs> okay, but what if the shirt was a crop top? This is the opposite of a crop top. I'm buying this an extra large so I can wear it like a fucking tent. Oh dear. No, yeah, so before we go on to the next announcement, that is actually a good reminder. Uh, I do want to say, go check out everyone who was involved with this. I only invited people who I thought were... <laughs> Listen, when you organize a collab this big, you start worrying about like, am I intruding on some like weird drama that doesn't exist? No, no. Everyone was lovely. Everyone put up with my fucking inane ramblings during like the five minute setup periods, which honestly, way too short. If you're gonna run a game show like this, VTubers, take note, don't do it. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. <laughs> Unless you prepare like several months in ahead, it's not worth it. But yeah, so go check out everyone. I will put links uh, in the description of the YouTube upload of this. It'll. Do we have a list of everyone's channels? Uh, I have a list of everyone. So... Uh, game one was uh, Isla Yu from Next Stage, uh, Nikki Ray and Poco Raccoon from Idol Corp. Uh, slot two was uh, Magnet Explain from Hollow Stars English, Jun Akane from Prison Project, and RT Game from uh, RT Game. I don't know. <laughs> uh, 
Uh, game three was Obake Pam from PlayAsia, Cake Jumper, who is an, uh, she makes nice food on Twitch. Damn, wish I knew how to cook. And Rainy, who, British. <laughs> And then that last game was Haka from Holy Stars English, Kai from Idol Corp, and Punker Lopi, who is definitely joining Idol Corp this, guys, this time, guys. It's definitely this time. We thought we had her the first time. We thought we had her the second time. It's definitely going to happen this time. We're all at threes and all that. It's... It only makes sense. <laughs> now, if you're on YouTube, you will have seen there is also a separate video being premiered on my channel in approximately three minutes, by which it means five minutes, because you got- I'm- I'm making you sit through the fucking premiere room. I don't care. I don't give a shit. It's my birthday. I get to listen to the music that goes It's already live. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I don't trust like that. I don't believe you. <laughs> Oh, yeah, it still says it's a premiere on my thing. So, premieres in 60 seconds. Um, mods, if we could get the YouTube premiere link in the Twitch chat, thank you. I'm about to premiere something a little bit interesting. I've prepared a small teaser. Um, I've worked very hard on this. I am going to do a chatting stream, which we are going to redirect into from the premiere after that. I think the Twitch stream is just gonna... <laughs> The Twitch stream's just gonna start and stop. I'm sorry about that. I don't know how Twitch works. I would like to show you what this shit is all about. So, we'll have a chat stream about it immediately after the premiere. But for now, please enjoy the teaser for... Oh, what's this? <laughs> 